a weeping willow. Old tales say that all the tortured and miserable souls that reside in this house are in that bloody awful thing. Something, something's here. It's an old wife's tale that when you enter through the front door, the spirits are alarmed and they will not show up. So we're going to enter in the back door to hopefully walk in on some activity. Oh my God. This place truly is a hell on earth. Go a billiard table. Oh, it's a strange formation. Why are we here? Go a six. I see. Oh, we got an upside down nine. And a big bloody six. My lord. The spirits are clearly here. And they're sending a message. Devil seems to be playing a game with us. And it's not billiards. Is that this spirit has an appetite. Only question is, is this appetite for souls? Or microwavable burrito? Oh my god. There appear to be some strange markings. They're writing on the wall. This entity has clearly manifested itself in a physical form and found a way to bridge the gap between their world and ours. This is blood curdling scary. God, oh, ghastly stench. Oh. It's abundantly clear that there's something here and not of this world. Oh. It's permeating my nostrils. Looks like a place for family gatherings. Nice looking family by the looks of it. Shame they gotta go through something like this. I wonder where they could be. Uh, hello? Uh, why are you in my house, sir? Oh, I'm the paranormal investigator. Oh, you're that guy I called. Hi, I'm Rick Bottoms, the owner of the house. Mario Speedwagon, worldwide famous paranormal investigator. I thought I heard of you. Who's this guy? Oh, this is uh, my cameraman. We have the very bright LED night vision light. So we can I can see tell it is really bright. In the dark, <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Um, so are you planning on getting rid of uh, the ghosts like in the, the movie? Uh, like with the movie with uh, Bill Murray in it. You know, when they suck them up, they push the little vacuums and stuff, and they suck them up. Like, you going to do that, or is that, <laughs> is that just like fake or something? You're talking about Ghostbusters. Yeah. It's a two-step process. Okay. Not like that Hollywood movie. Okay. The first part is finding the source of the spirits. Then we'll talk about the elimination process. All right, okay. Um, so do you want like a general area of like where I've been hearing all the spooky stuff or? It needs to be the place with the most activity. Okay, okay. So I've been experiencing like a lot of activity within that room right there. Well, like, you know, like, like you got the, 
like the rattling and and like the voices like um we want your souls to, it's nothing but it's like that kind of stuff it's really creepy and you're like you're like i'm uh, like in the middle of the night i'm getting the glass of cold ice milk and i'm like and you hear it and i'm like oh there's people stop talking you bloody american wankerman okay i'm okay Please. you're the famous guy i guess <laughs> So you just want to go get the ghosts, get them out of my house, because I'm watching my favorite show upstairs, Friends. Bloody American television. Too many commercials for Viagra and feminine hygiene products. Uh, I don't use much of that stuff. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm going to let you get your stuff. <laughs> and uh, if you ever need anything, just, you know. Just get out of here. Uh, <laughs> oh jeez, you. They don't pay me enough for this. It'll be more spookier. All right, Higgins. This is the center of all the activity. Buck stops here. What was that? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Go on, Higgins, go get the light right now. What now? Get the light! Oh my god! Oh my god! Higgins! What is this thing? Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to see my twerking skills. Now it's your turn.